Hello and welcome back, G-Man here. Today I'm looking at some tips and tricks using a dual VCA. First, I'll briefly go over what is a VCA, then the features of my dual VCA module, and lastly, show you some cool things that you can do with VCAs. What is a voltage controlled amplifier? Say that audio is the input. A VCA can use a control signal to change the loudness or amplitude of the audio. Used this way, it is simply a volume control. Most common use is to change the loudness of audio, for example, using an envelope as the control signal. But you didn't get into modular to do only the most common things. This is a simplistic explanation, but you will see later that VCAs can do quite a bit more than that. The dual VCA I'm using has two fully independent VCAs. Each channel uses the analog BA6110 chips, just like on the SH2 VCF. Of course, you can chain the channels together for interesting results. Each channel has a signal input. This is the thing that you want to change its amplitude. And then there's a control input, the thing that does the changing. Input signals don't have to be just audio. It can be just about anything you want to control the amplitude of. Oscillators noise, polar or bipolar CVs like LFOs, and even more. The control input can be any polar or bipolar signals, even audio, as you will see later. There's a switch to change the control input response from linear to exponential. You'll notice this envelope decay trails off differently depending on the setting. Use the exponential response if you want the attack transients to sound more snappy. The CV attenuation pot can be used to reduce the amount of incoming control voltage. Sometimes you want a little, other times a lot. CV bias is just a flat voltage that can be negative or positive that gets added to the incoming control signal. Most times you'll want to set the bias to zero. But I will show you some cool things soon using positive or negative bias. Let's get started running through some VCA examples. The simplest example is a basic volume knob. Here, the VCA is used as a volume control. Your input will be your audio. Uh, your CV input will, there won't be any CV input. Then just simply turn the bias pot clockwise. The most common example of VCAs is an envelope amplifier. Lots of synths use a VCA to control loudness by an envelope. So here your input will be audio and your CV will be the envelope. For percussion sounds of all kinds, send noise to the input and make sure the response switch is set to exponential. Amplitude key tracking. In this example, as the pitch gets higher, the sound gets quieter. You'll set the bias counterclockwise a bit, then your input will be audio, and your CV will be an inverse pitch CV. So to get that, you'll just run your pitch CV into an inverter, which makes the pitch go, instead of zero to five volts, the pitch will go from zero to minus five volts. You can track louder as pitch gets higher by using a non-inverted pitch CV or 0 to 5 volts. Ducking sidechain style. When a kick drum sounds, the bass synth will have its loudness ducked. Trigger a kick drum on the transient module. I'm also sending the same trigger to my envelope. Then I'll take the inverted envelope out and run that to my VCA control input.
Audio Amplitude Modulation. Well, you've heard of FM. There are FM synthesizers that can use frequency modulation to change the timbre of sounds. Here we're going to use amplitude modulation. This is where the VCA allows you to use two oscillators to achieve a ring mod type effect. For the input, I'll be using an oscillator from my E352. For the CV input, I'll be using another oscillator from my CEM 3340 VCA. Tremolo. Tremolo is nothing more than wavering the loudness using an LFO. The bias will be set to clockwise a bit. The input will be your audio source. And CV will be your LFO. To make it more interesting, you can modulate the LFO by using another LFO. Gated LFO. A filter can be modulated by an LFO when you send a trigger to it. Send audio directly to the filter and then your filter out to your mixer. Then for your input to the VCA, use your LFO and your CV control will be the envelope. <laughs> Wave mixing. You can chop up a signed LFO with another square LFO. I'll set the bias to zero. The input will be the sine wave LFO and the CV will be the square wave LFO. Then I'll send this output to a filter. As you see, the sky is the limit when it comes to modulating the amplitude of something by something else. And probably the reason you'll hear people say, you can never have enough VCAs. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.